Alright guys, let's jump into this tour. Walking up to the base, we'll enter our airlock, which has four large boxes for quickly depoting loot. To the right, we'll head past... Wait, what the fu- So, this isn't a normal base video. I want to suggest an approach that I think should become the standard for small base videos, and I'll be using this cute little starter as an example. The idea is to sell the base with its metrics up front, not buried in cinematic fanfare, to make it as easy as possible for the viewer to tell if it's a bad base. Raid cost comes first. It's how we gauge how acceptable an upkeep is going to be once we see its features. So, what's the worst case raid? With the kiss, splash the roof. 15 rockets gets full loot by blowing the whole thing open, but you can save one or two by focusing the splash of the metal going through the last garage door. So. 13 rockets, got it. What's the upkeep? It doesn't compete with a yurt, but it's pretty chill. Now that we know the raid costs and the upkeep, let's do the tour, keeping those numbers in mind, or better yet, on the screen? We do the initial tour with only doors and windows installed to make it as easy as possible for you to confirm my raid claim and get a grasp for the layout. Then we swap to a convenient view so that I can show you a room by room estimate of loot safety. Lastly, interior decoration options, and since we're here anyway, I'll show you a couple things that I like to toss in my bases. Deployable colliders combine to act as invisible ramps, like this campfire box combo does, so that you can haul ass indoors. And for those pesky garage doors, we've got a door popper. A door popper cycles closed doors and closes open doors. Since buttons have enough phantom power to activate two doors, it works great for our hallway. Do be careful where you apply door poppers though. If you're relying on the doors they operate to isolate split loot, a raider can use your controllers to open them after they get TC. Anyway, that's it for this video. Go check out my new series Bad Basis if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing anything you release using this format. As always, have a wonderful day.